A dam over the Sea of Okhotsk may impress even the most skeptical person. Such a mega project is discussed among Russia's high leading authorities. And today we are going to report on the most ambitious construction project of the country, which could become reality in the next few years and have the potential to transform Russia into an energy superpower. With the dam in the Sea of Okhotsk, Russia could produce enormous amounts of cheap hydrogen, whose demand is also growing worldwide. The scale and the cost of the project itself are very impressive. Preliminary estimates of the cost for the forthcoming dam are $60 billion, which is 10 times the cost of the Crimean Bridge. But these numbers pale in comparison to the results and benefits that a tidal power plant in the Sea of Okhotsk promises. We are talking about a complete redistribution of the world energy market. If this project is built, Russia will become a superpower in whose hands the most important energy reserves of the planet will be concentrated. It's a fact that in the Sea of Okhotsk is an inexhaustible natural source of producing clean, cheap energy like nowhere else on the planet. Due to the deteriorating global environmental situation, Western countries are already considering hydrogen as an alternative energy source of the future. And the dam, more specifically, a tidal power plant in the Sea of Okhotsk can become a source of practically free and abundant hydrogen. Let's first recall what type of power plants exist today. The first and most powerful are nuclear power plants. They are, besides fossil energy, the main sources of modern electricity. However, such plants produce toxic nuclear waste and the technology used in them is anything but safe. We only have to remember the catastrophes in the Ukrainian Chernobyl or the Japanese Fukushima. Additionally, there are also conventional fossil fuel power plants, but with their immense emissions, they are polluting the atmosphere in an unacceptable manner, thus turning modern nations to focus on green and renewable energies, which include wind and solar energy, hydropower, and tidal power plants. Tidal power plants, which is the subject of this video, is probably the strongest with the biggest potential. A tidal power plant harnesses the energy of the tidal currents to generate electricity, and the Sea of Okhotsk has a lot of this energy, which makes it a really unique place on our planet. Where the Kamchatka Peninsula meets the mainland, there is a small bay called Pinchina Bay. Most people have probably never heard of it, but this is where the biggest height differences in water levels are in between tides. At high tide, water levels in the bay rises for 9 and sometimes even 13 meters, and the whole area of the Pinchina Bay is about 21,000 square meters, which is approximately equivalent to the area of the Crimean Peninsula. If we add it all up, 500 cubic kilometers of water flow through the bay every single day. For comparison, the Volga, which is Europe's largest river with the most water discharge outflow, moves this amount of water in two years, and the River Don in 25 years. Even the mightiest river on Earth, the Amazon, needs 25 days to discharge 500 cubic kilometers of water. Now imagine Volga's two-year energy output compressed into 24 hours, or Amazon River's 25-day energy output in just one day. Now you understand why there has to be a tidal power plant in the Pinchina Bay. It would be stupid not to use this natural resource. The principle of the tidal power plant is very simple. There are turbines installed inside the dam where the water masses moved by ebb and flow rotates the blades. And because of the enormous water masses moving through the gates of the Pinchina Bay every day, the capacity of such a power plant would be gigantic. Let's have a look at power plants that are in operation first to get a feeling on how powerful such a power plant really is. The capacity of the exploded nuclear power plant in Chernobyl was one gigawatt per hour. All four power units Russia currently builds in Turkey will have a capacity of 4.8 gigawatts per hour. Russia's most powerful hydroelectric power station, the Siano Sashenskia Dam, generates 6.4 gigawatts per hour. And the most powerful hydroelectric power plant, the Three Gorges Dam in China, whose construction even slowed down the Earth's rotation, generates a bit more than 22 gigawatts per hour. And what about the capacity of the tidal power plant in Penshina Bay? Over 100 gigawatts per hour. 
that's approximately equivalent to 25 modern nuclear power plants or five Chinese megadams. And at the same time, this power plant has zero emissions, is 100% green and renewable, which makes it an abundant energy source available 24 hours a day and 100% for free. And finally, the power plant is disaster proof. Even in an accident, nobody dies, nothing gets polluted, and nothing gets flooded. The only disadvantage is the price. Even the most modest estimates are currently $60 billion. However, such costs are acceptable if the advantages of cheap energy production are considered. And gearing up with the energy-hungry China, who has already proved to the world its construction capabilities could bring this project even closer to reality. But this is where the second problem arises. Reality is, there is no demand near the Sea of Okhotsk for such enormous amounts of energy because the area is only sparsely populated. The next consumers are located in small cities like Kamchatka, Sakhalin, and Magadan, which will never consume 100 gigawatts per hour of energy altogether. So what could be done with so much energy? It's of course possible to build power lines to Japan and Korea, but this would be even more expensive than building the mega dam itself. In addition to that, the energy losses in transmission are way too high and inefficient at such distances. The fact that there's no demand in the area made this project disappear off the table of Russian leaders in history. But since green clean energy is getting popular around the world, new creative solutions have arised, which would not only cover the cost of investments, but would also lead to make some big profits. The idea is not to sell the electricity itself, but a product made from it. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is 100% environmentally friendly and in contrast to oil and gas, an inexhaustible resource. Hydrogen only has one problem and that's why it's not commonly used worldwide. Its production is pretty expensive because it requires a lot of energy. But if you have a Penchina Bay in the backyard with a mega dam producing 100 gigawatts per hour of cheap energy, you would not even mind. In other words, with a mega dam in the Sea of Okhotsk, Russia, we'll be able to produce and liquefy cheap hydrogen and sell it to the world. The profit margin of such a project, even in more conservative estimates, are tens of billions of dollars per year. Considering the global trends towards green energy, Russia can emerge as the leading hydrogen producer in the world and not only make big profits out of this, but also disrupt the world's geopolitical balance, making Russia an energy superpower where the world's resources are highly concentrated. Considering this fact, the price of $60 billion US should be really acceptable for the nation. Now you can understand the importance of this project for Russia. So what do you think about this project? How could such a mega project change the geopolitical balance in world politics? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like if you did and subscribe to The Futurist so you don't miss out on any other videos.